What's up, guys? Jay Thornton 64. It is uh, Tuesday, October 21st, 2014. And uh, this is going to be a video on readiness and preparedness. With all the Ebola, uh, Ebola going on, all the scares of that crap. Uh, got winter rolling around, uh, being in the south, I don't have to worry about, I don't have to worry about too, too cold weather, it doesn't get too bad down here, if it gets low 30s, if it gets below freezing, it's pretty cold here, uh, high 20s, very seldom, maybe a couple of days out of the winter, but so our winters aren't so brutal. But for all you guys living up north where it's already snowing, are you guys prepared if uh, they're saying incubation has went to 42 days? Well, let's just call it, let's just call it 50 days. Uh, you know, a month and a half. Are you prepared worst case scenario are you prepared to be at home for 50 days do you have 50 days worth of food 50 days worth of water are you prepared for a scenario like that I remember uh, it's probably been five or six years ago it was probably my first time probably five six years ago it was my first time to really hear about it wasn't really about prepping. It was about a. Uh, and I'm not even going to get into religion and all that. Anyway, a friend of mine, they have kids. Their kid, one of their kids, their oldest kid, went to go stay a night with one of her friends from school. And she come home talking about. Her family was, you know, a little weird. <laughs> Talking about they had a room in their house that, you know, had food and water and just all the kind of crap you could think of. And I remember myself thinking, that's pretty weird. But fast forward to the day, and, you know, it's, that person was a genius. I just didn't realize it. Um... So how prepared are you? Not worried about it. It's going to pass. Won't happen to me. I got a friend I can fall on. I get a lot of that. Shit, I'm coming to your house. What you bringing with you is what I say. Don't bring a pretty face and a smile ain't going to get you far. What you bringing with you when you if you want to come to my house? What you bringing? What are you gonna help us with? Cause don't depend on no J Thornton sixty four to pull to put a little food in your mouth. Cause you had all the chance in the world. So how prepared are you? Winter months are coming. The vaccine is getting pushed more and more. Freaking bugs. They're everywhere today. Uh, how in tune with you are, are you with a situation happening like that? Are you mentally prepared for that? Because somebody, you know, let's call them city folks, <laughs> yippies, whatever you want to call them, city boys, city girls, never got their hands dirty, always depended on somebody else to cook something or buy it at the store. Are they prepared? Are they mentally prepared for that? Let's just say we have a bad ice storm this year. Or 
harp or whatever. You lose power, let's just say for a week, three days. It, um, well, let's say you have all this food, but do you have ways to cook it? I try to have three different ways to do every damn thing. Filter water, cook, eat, sleep, shit. Three different ways. I've been uh, actively putting back for about a year. Close to it. And I have a single man, no kids. I got a pretty good bit amount of stuff put back. Of course, I expect, I don't expect, but I'm sure a couple will show. And being the nice guy I try to be, I'll have something. But guys, as long as, uh, I got that body of water out there, and those woods, OJ Thornton 64 going to be just fine. Shit, I thought about cutting my power off for a month just to see how I'd, see how I'd react. Don't miss a beat. Just, you know, still go to work. Just rough it for a month. We're all, you know, you gotta excuse my French when I say this. But most people nowadays are a bunch of pansy asses. You shut their power off for, for a night, man, and they go chaotic. Much less you throw pressure of a pandemic on it or you're cold and you're hungry because you can't heat your food up. You ain't going to make it very long. Let's just be honest. You ain't going to make it. Now, you might think you, oh, oh shit, man. Hell, I was, a, I was a Boy Scout when I was six. Well... You damn near 40 now. What you remember? I'm not saying make yourself suffer. But at least prepare. Be vigilant. And I would like to say. There's not a calm trail in the sky. Ain't that something? Nice puffy clouds. Nice puffy clouds. Not even a cloud over there. That's what the sky is supposed to look like, boys and girls. Now I just had to throw that in there. This is Jake Thornton 64. Prepare, guys. Not for the madness, but for your own damn good.